Hey guys, so this video is going to be about my mistakes and what I have learned from going first time with my bike, traveling to other country, packing my bike, uh, carrying it in the cardboard box. I don't have any fancy boxes, you know, and uh, it was my first time actually packing my bike in inside, you know, and, um, you know, building it up in the airport and rolling back to my guest house. So I really learned a lot and I'm really grateful for uh, taking this opportunity in my life to take this trip, you know, but it didn't really went uh, as good as I wanted. Uh, yeah, let's put it that way. But uh, let me tell you through all the mistakes. So the first one was uh, riding to my bus station uh, in my shorts, and I was riding very fast because I was really late. It was not planned for sure. I planned to, you know, like uh, start. Uh, my trip let's start riding at six o'clock by but uh, once I got to my bike I noticed that it has a flat you know so uh, I really started riding at 6 45 and then it took lots of time and I was really rushing so I was really sweaty when I, once I got to the bus station and then I was really so busy that I haven't even noticed that and I haven't even realized that I'm gonna be traveling for 11 hours or 12 hours overall uh, bus station included and then sitting in the in the airplane you know and stuff for overall maybe sitting seven or eight hours which is insane you know when your shorts are really wet and you sit on them in the you know in the seat it's it's just it's just very unhygienic you know one when, when you're riding a bike you know it's it's good because you really stand up sometimes you really um stop you know and uh, get out of the saddle so it's not a big problem but uh, you know uh, with just sitting and traveling never wear the bike shorts even if you're riding to the bus station please like carry a towel or something or some dry wipes you know or tissues and uh, just wipe those places and wear something dry it's the biggest tip from me you know to you to not to get um, saddle sores in the first place uh, the second tip and the second big mistake I made uh, was coming here and booking the guest house uh, straight away for two weeks and then I came to the place and I noticed that they have fan but fan is on the on the ceiling you know and it was spinning all the time I could and I couldn't uh, make it stop you know so I was really sweating at night it was so hot and uh, it was it was really painful experience that's that's actually one of the reasons why I got um, back home earlier because it was just unbearable. I could probably rent other apartment, but you know, I've already paid all the money. So it was kind of tricky, you know, you should better come for one or two days, book the guest house or hotel and then look around, maybe ask your friends. It's a much better, you would have much better experience for maybe the same price or even cheaper. The third mistake is going to be about the bike, but it was not about Chiang Mai, actually, it was the mistake made before I came here. So the thing was, I purchased 28 mil tires, Maxxis Refuse, great tires, but they didn't match my rims. You know, my rims are too narrow. They're, they're made for 23, 25 mil tires. That's what I realized in Chiang Mai, actually, uh, when I <laughs> had huge saddle sores and I was trying to find out why do I have so many flats? I actually told Trevor that I had literally flats every single time I went up the door, almost every single time of all six days that I was riding. So it was really unpleasant, especially when I was going downhill. So the thing was, uh, guys, and I want to really encourage you, I, I still don't really know this exact specifications, you know, how to find, um, like, what's the measurement for narrow and wide rims, but... I know that my rims, I measured them once and uh, they were only for 23, 25 mil tires. I checked the, you know, numbers for rims and tires. So please, if you have, actually, I think most of the wheels, uh, budget, low budget, they have, they're only for 23, 25 mils. I guess it's more advanced uh, wheels that are made for the m more wide, you know, rims and they can carry 28 mil and more uh, tires. So it was a huge mistake. It made my riding much less enjoyable because I had to fix my flat almost every single time I went for riding. And I remember even thinking that 
uh, freaking hell how am i going to go to dointon on uh, like you know i i had so many ideas why it's gonna uh, why what's going on because in the first place i was putting the inner tubes 1823 mil inside or 1825 and i thought probably that's because um, they are too uh, just too small tubes you know for 28 mil tires and that's why probably i i am getting those pinch flats you know then the other uh, thing was i thought when i actually installed 28 mil inner tubes uh, I was like, hmm, uh, maybe there is something inside of the tire, you know, so I have to inspect it. So I was inspecting it so carefully, but I couldn't find anything. And only when I got back to China, I installed 28, 25 mil Maxxis Refuse, and I went in the first day for 169k ride, smooth as hell. Also, the thing is with tires, it's it feels so sluggish and dangerous on the downhills when you... So when you install the wide tires on the narrow rims, it's it's really dangerous because the tire can actually roll out of the rim, you know. It can actually happen, uh, especially if the PSI is too low, I guess. It, fortunately, it haven't happened to it hasn't happened to me, but I was in, I was experiencing really really uh, you know, really dangerous kind of experience as I'm not really controlling my bike too much because you know on the front tire I was it was really really like you know sluggish and something and I was like what the heck what's going on and at that time that's that's when I started thinking probably something is wrong with these tires you know so don't install uh, really uh, do the research uh, for me it was not that expensive because Maxxis Refuse here in China are like 20 bucks uh, but uh, overall it makes your riding so much uh, worse you know actually like it really fucks up all your experience and yeah once i installed 25 mils i've already done in about four or five days like six seven hundred k's amazing no flats nothing you know and i can run like uh, like 90 to 100 psi maybe sometimes even 80 in the front because it doesn't really get so much of an impact you know so it's the third mistake. It's a really long one, but it was something I really was uh, struggling with for quite a while. So I guess these three mistakes are the main mistakes, actually, that lead to other problems and uh, not that pleasant experience overall, but they taught me so much, you know. Uh, like now I know that if I'm going to come, I'm going to really come with new tires that match my rims that... I'm gonna make sure that I'm not gonna be having punctures all the time. Then uh, I'm gonna be sure that I'm staying in the nice place, and uh, I'm gonna check it first. The other thing uh, that I'm gonna do is never ride, uh, never actually travel in the bike shorts. Actually, on my way back, you know what I did? I also cycled to the airport, but uh, once I got there, I changed my shorts and I wore new, uh, sorry, wore new. Uh, cycling shorts the same shorts but new and dry completely dry but then I noticed there is something with this material probably synthetic or something that it still got really wet you know even after sitting in the airplane for two hours it, it was a little bit wet out there so this material is not made for sitting long time in the uh, leather seat or something there in the airplane can, you know these type of seats so don't wear bike shorts uh, if you're gonna be sitting for a long time anywhere you know so I, actually I would say like that don't wear your cycling shorts in the long trips uh, if you ride to the airport please make sure that you have some spare stuff like shorts because actually in this trip I carried only one pair of other shorts you know and that's it and I think it's enough I was just not um, um, thinking that it's gonna be so crucial you know for me so not to get saddle sore don't wear bike shorts in the long trips please <laughs> it uh, it will save your butt and it will save you so much of a hustle especially in the tropical country so I hope it was helpful if it was guys please let me know what you want to know because um, yeah even though the trip was not that pleasant it gave me so much of experience you know I got to meet great people. I got to ride at least a few times up those places. I got to explore the roads. I got to eat those f that food, you know. I got to visit those restaurants. And I got to check 
those amazing amazing climbs so guys even though you know like uh, even though it was not the best trip uh, i wanted to do it was amazing experience and uh, you know like recently i was watching videos about people living in afghanistan and pakistan and other countries that live actually uh, you know like like a dollar on a dollar a day or two dollars a day and it made me think man you're complaining about your trip not being as cool as you wanted so uh, mate you still had a great time you still met great people you know and you will be back so um and 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 you will be back uh, not only you will be back but you will be back with so much of experience you know and uh, you will know what to do and where to go and what not to do as well so it's it's just you know like it's precious you know it's really precious and uh, that's what i believe uh, i want and i need to share with others uh, so yeah guys uh, that's why i do actually these videos so let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah feel free to sh to talk to me on facebook maybe uh, subscribe to my instagram and strava especially because on strava i do uh, great miles this year 10000 k's uh, in like it's not even and it's almost it's that june is um, it's still like 27th of june you know so like in 6 less than 6 months i did 10000 k's it's like 6000 miles plus for those of you uh, using feet and miles so yeah guys thank you for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one take care bye